The death of Ethiopia's president, Mele Zenawi, has pushed their relatively unknown successor into the spotlight amid questions whether the new premier will be able to hold the Ethiopian government together and its people. Now, the reason why Kenya should be concerned is the fact that the Ethiopian state is fragile with ethnic violence and the ripple effect of that is the influx of refugees into the country. That worrying scenario will be a nightmare for Kenya, but that seems not to be a priority for Kenya's foreign affairs minister for now. At the moment, that's hypothetical, and I wouldn't like to deal with a, an hypothetical situation. But Prime Minister Raila Odinga has a different view. He has expressed concern that Melis Zenawi's death could herald a period of instability for Ethiopia. Analysts say the future of this country now lies in the hands of this man and how he plays his politics. And I can assure you that in Africa, when somebody takes over the reins of power, that's when they really change. Some of them were good guys, then they suddenly become dictators. The acting prime minister himself has said that they will continue with the policies of late uh, Zenawi. The country's armed forces have pledged allegiance to the constitution and to defend the post meles era as his body arrived in Addis Ababa from Belgium. With rumors of his death reported weeks, analysts say the delay in the announcement might have been strategic. Instability in southern Ethiopia also has very serious security repercussions. And even as the country mourns and prepares to give their leader a decent send-off, it will be curious to see how the world leaders, and especially the regional states, will assist the nation to ensure stability is maintained. For News at 8, I'm Dennis Okari.